perfect. No other evil genius has a hollowed out iceberg layer. They're still doing that burnt out volcano thing. <laughs> so, 20 years ago. I don't know, Uncle Claude. These burnt out volcano layers are warm. It's nothing the mad hyperdrill can't fix. I'll just use it to reroute lava from the Earth's core. Ice layer heating problem? Sold. So, let me get this straight, Uncle C. You're going to use molten lava to heat up your ice castle? Yes, why? Oh, no reason. Just saying. <laughs> Sounds like another wild, ingenious plan, Uncle C. Are you done talking? Um, sure. Good. Now go. Huh. Has it been 20 minutes, Brain? It's gotta be 20 minutes. Tell me it's been 20 minutes! Brain! Oh. Five minutes? How am I gonna get over my claustrophobia if I can't stand here longer than five minutes? Huh. Five seconds? Ah, Penny, I see your hide-and-seek practice is going well. I'm practicing being caught in tight spots, Uncle Gadget. A real HQ agent has to be in all kinds of tight spots. You'll get it, Penny. I did. Keep Quimby. Nice drawers. Inspector Gadget, I have a mission for you. Earthquakes are racking a town in the Northwest Territories. They could have something to do with this. Mad's latest toy, the massive hyperdrill. Your mission, stop Mad from using the drill. This message will self-destruct. You got it, Chief. Uh, it would have been so much easier if Uncle C just got a space heater. My inspector intuition tells me that might be an earthquake. It's him! Welcome to the first ever Friendsburg Inspector Gadget Day! Inspector Gadget Day? Wow! When we heard you were coming to solve our quake problem, <laughs> we just couldn't believe it! Friendsburg has the largest gadget fan club in the Northwest. 17 members! Wowzers! How amazing! I always knew I was meant to be a star. Friendsburg. Well, huh? sure sounds like a friendly place. I'm the mayor around these parts. Well, hello there, mayor around these parts. We're delighted to come to Friesenburg. It's Friendsburg, Inspector. Ah, yes. Friendsburg. Friendsburg. Flusensturg? Friendsburg! It's Friendsburg! Friendsburg, Friendsburg, Friendsburg! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that certainly didn't come from me. It's just another earthquake, Inspector. Oh, nothing to worry about. Before we celebrate all that is me, I vow to find that drill and stop them for good. Um. A uh, great idea there, Inspector. I'll, uh, help you out. I don't know about you, Brain, but I smell mad all over this town. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. Um, Gadget is still eager to find the drill, sir. Stick to the plan and keep him distracted. Try a song and dance number or something. A uh, wonderful idea, sir. No drill here, but my skin looks amazing. Uncle Gadget, I know you're psyched about Inspector Gadget Day, but, well, I think it may be a trap. Just in case, I'll attend, I, I mean, investigate the festivities. Hey, guys, we have another little big surprise for you. Come! Surprise? Why, that's my second middle name. The Hyperdrill has done its testing phase. It's nearly ready to dig to the Earth's core. Then it's warm, sweet, warm for your new lair. And soon, the mayor will totally take Gadget out of the picture for good. Excellent. <laughs> this is the best first Friendsburg Inspector Gadget day ever. Still investigating, Penny. Hmm. Let's have a closer look. What do we have here? 
Hmm. Stay with Uncle Gadget Brain. I may have found something. This whole Friendsburg Gadget Day is working like a charm. <laughs> I knew Penny would fall for it. I so did not fall for it. <laughs> what was it? Too many billboards? Or was it the t-shirts? Yeah, that was overkill, wasn't it? Doesn't matter. It's too late anyway. <laughs> See ya. I don't think so. I'm right behind you. Uh, tight squeeze. Okay, you can do it, Penny. As long as the ride doesn't last longer than five seconds. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that's gonna look great in the Fredsburg Gadget newsletter. Great. Now to find that drill so we can get back to the business of Gadget Day celebration. Um, yeah, we need just one more shot. <laughs> oh. huh? Hey, the free gadget hugs come after the photo session. Easy, Penny. This isn't so bad. It's about to get worse. Let's power up the drill. Celebrating is really shaking things up around here. Huh? Ah, they're around these parts. Where are you off to? I'm just going to get ah, more gadget day supplies. Who oh, are you? You, oh, you should stay um, right there. Ah! Ah! Oh, goody, goody, there. I wonder where that stairway goes. Come on! Alan, what's taking so long? Make my drill go faster. Fine, fine, I'll go full power. So you're stuck in an out of control elevator. Penny, keep it together. You're okay. There's tons of air in here. Under the earth, in a mine shaft. Get a hold of yourself. There's gotta be a way to slow this thing down. I know. If I just use my Codex's thermo optic scanner, I can access the emergency circuits and slow this thing down. I did it! Slowly going down. Talon. Where's my lava? I'm drilling as fast as I can here. Tell that to my aunt Coco. Drilling to the Earth's core? Oh, come on! I'm drilling here! That will cause global destruction. A small price to pay for heated floors. What? Ah, uh, nothing. Are we doing this or what? I wonder what's down here. Maybe some more Gadget Day events. Go, go, Gadget, night vision goggles. <laughs> The good times aren't going to end. Go, go, Gadget Parachute! I can do this forever. You, on the other hand, only have a few minutes till the drilling is done. Stop this ringing. It's probably drowning out Inspector Gadget Day. Hmm. Which reminds me, we should probably see how they're doing. 
We must have missed the parade. You know, this is a nice town. Lots of wide open space. That talent. I gave him one simple command. <laughs> Next time, gadget. Next time. Special delivery for iGadget. Stay back, kids. If it's a stranger, that could be danger. Don't go, Gadget. Extend our arms. <laughs> Chief, I assume we have a mission. No mission today, Gadget. No mission, no random explosions. Yep, it's a good day. You are invited to the HQ's reunion tonight in the auditorium. <gasps> All the top agents will be there. <laughs> Corporal Chameleon, Cuffs Murphy, Detective Data. Ah, uh, yes. Data and I work together often. If memory serves, she was a top agent with a very weak stomach. Not to mention the youngest junior agent ever to be made full agent. I know everything about her, and I know we're going to be at the same party! Right you are, Penny, because all the junior agents will be the serving staff for tonight's party. Oh, really? Will I still get to talk to Detective Data? Of course! The junior agents are encouraged to mingle while serving. Oh, and if the sausage roll tray keeps finding its way over to me, Someone gets extra credit. Yes! Oops. Sorry. So excited. I'll go get changed. We're gonna meet Detective Data! We'd better dismantle these choking hazards before the party starts. Go, go, Gadget Balloon Poppers! Chief! You should really clean yourself up. I wonder what I should wear. Maybe something in a trench coat. <laughs> In high school, I was nominated most likely to. Never catch Inspector Gadget? <laughs> Burn! <laughs> no one disrespects me. No way. It does say I'm least likely to catch Inspector Gadget. Ugh, thanks a lot. So what's with the trip down memory lane? Tonight is HQ's agent reunion, and I plan on giving them a very icy reception. Once the world's top agents are at the reunion, you're going to sneak in a cake filled with liquid diamond to freeze them in the room forever. <laughs> liquid diamond? Isn't it easier just to use, oh, I don't know, ice? <laughs> you really must do something about that laugh. This is so cool. Brain, keep an eye out for Data. She's a super agent. She could enter the building disguised as anything. <gasps> OMG, she's here! Disguised as herself. Brilliant! Be cool, Brain. Detective Data! It's been too long. Remember the great Gouda caper of 87? Uh, we'll always have Paris. And I'll always have a cheese allergy. Classic Data. Always joking. Ahem. Uh -oh. Uncle Gadget? Data? This is my niece, Penny. It is such an honor to meet you. You are a true hero. I was wondering if you had any advice for a junior agent? Yes, if you value your career, stay far away from your uncle. There you go again with your jokes. Aw, oh, she really must admire me. Her jokes are always about me. Funny and brilliant. <laughs> so cool. Who made these burgers so small? Whoever it is, they must have used a shrink ray. That's weird. There's some kind of encrypted signal coming from nearby. It sort of looks like a mad signal. Data will know what to do. Penny, you should be focusing more on your duties and not bothering Detective Data. I assure you, we're perfectly safe with this many agents in one room. Yes, Quimby. A room you will be stuck in forever. Agent, I need a status report. Project Let Them Eat Cake has begun. Maybe Chief Quimby's right. Maybe I am inventing danger just to get Data's attention. But I... I recognize that smell. A combo of desperation, perspiration, and... hair gel. Talon! Ha! Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone evil. That may have not been him, but I'd know that smell anywhere. Talon is here somewhere. We better warn Chief Quimby. So... 
You want me to stop the party and send home an entire crowd of seasoned, world-class secret agents because you think you smell a mad agent? Well, when you put it that way, it does sound kind of crazy. This pancake should be at least three times this size. But it's not any mad agent. It's talent. You know, the dimples and... I'm gonna stop talking right now. <laughs> Hors d'oeuvre? Is there sausage in them? I bet Detective Data would know what to do. Could you keep an eye on Uncle Gadget until I talk to her? Superintendent Socket Wrench! How long has it been? 10, 15, 25 years? Remember the old high school noogie handshake? I don't remember Socket Wrench being so hairy. <gasps> Detective Data! Ah, Penny, is it? You remember my name? Okay, focus. Detective Data, I need your help. I think that I've stumbled upon some kind of mad plot. Why are there wires in the cake? You know, I've been hearing good things about you. Really? <laughs> like what? Now that's not important right now. The point is, if you say there's a mad plot, I believe you. Ah, I totally knew you'd get me. But a good agent makes sure they have enough information before they act. So, I have a mission for you. I am so on it. What is it? I need you to head into the kitchen and see what you can find. I sent a nosy junior agent your way. Take care of her. Wow, so sorry about before. I was looking for someone and you were there, but then it wasn't you. I have to take this call. Brain, what is it? What? No way! Detective Data is not a mad henchman. She's like the greatest HQ agent ever. I don't know what you think you thought you saw, but... Nailed it! I knew I could smell your ego in here! Well, flattering as it is that you know my smell, I really do have to go. Not so fast, Superintendent Socket Wrench. If that is your real name, which I know it isn't, because the real one is right here. I know all about your sinister plan to shrink the food, which means this cake must have been enormous. So large, it could have wiped out world hunger. Let's get him, Superintendent Socket Wrench. <laughs> I prefer good challenge. And by the way, so is Data. And now we are going to seal all the agents into that room forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really awful laugh. And by the way, I don't do co-missions anymore since Gadget. And especially not with someone wearing that much hair product. It's in my contract. <laughs> but you can't be a mad double agent. How could you? I spent 10 years of my life with your uncle, and you know who always got the credit for my hard work? Him! So I joined MAD. I... I can't believe it. They reward talent. You really are evil. Take my advice. Ditch your uncle. Don't become like me, a brilliant agent who never got any glory! Uncle Gadget doesn't care about glory. He just wants the good guys to win, and that's what I want, too. Suit yourself. But the good guys are gonna lose this time. The cake is armed and in position. Yes! All I have to do is escape in the elevator and detonate the liquid diamond with this. So long, trainee. Brain, you were right. You gotta get that cake out of here. I'll be back for you later. But right now, I've gotta stop Data. <laughs> Stop, food shrinker! Gadget! No! Ah, 
Sock Detective Data. You remember Superintendent Socket Wrench? Good work, Gadget. It seems there was a mad plot afoot. You've captured Detective Data before she could detonate this cake filled with liquid diamond. What? Are you serious? He didn't do anything. It was Penny who figured it out. Gadget did nothing! Wowzers, Detective Data. You seem very upset. And I know just the thing to cheer you up. Some cake! Sorry your hero turned out to be a mad agent, Penny. That's okay, because I still have my favorite hero of all time, Uncle Gadget. No, no, no! I can't believe Agent Data was frozen in liquid diamond. Well, they say diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> you really must do something about that laugh. Shh, shh, shh. 